Listen, I just was watching this video and it was a video of a clip of a YouTube, like I don't even know what it is and I'm gonna try to find it again and link it under here. And I don't know who needs to hear it, but I know me hearing it, it helped me a lot. Um, not because I didn't know it, but because I think as women, we need to hear it more often. You don't have to give him or them the benefit of the doubt. You don't have to give them an opportunity to prove themselves again when they have violated you and overstepped your boundaries and disregarded and disrespected you. You you do not have to give them space to prove themselves again. What they've done initially is proof enough. It's not your job. If they violate you, they disregard you, they disrespect you, that is all you need to walk away. You owe them nothing. And I know that that is contrary to the subliminal messages that we receive as women, and especially in the U.S., but you owe them nothing. You don't owe them a second chance. You don't even owe them your time to hear them out. You owe them nothing. And if this is striking a chord with you, if this is um, <clears throat> calling to you, giving you an answer that maybe you have been reaching for, wondering, maybe you're doing this but not feeling good at it, like this is judgment free because there are people in my life, someone in particular that I've given a million chances. And what I realize is that they lack empathy. And that puts them on a spectrum where there's no way for me to be happy with them. Because in their minds, we're not equal. And their time, their energy, etc. is more valuable than everybody else's. And so they are the kind of person that wants to be filled up and lacks the capacity, literally just lacks the capacity to pour into other people because they are a consumer. You owe them nothing. If you want to be healed from this energy, you know, join me in Goddess University. Come to my lives. Uh, let's talk about it. But it's okay to walk away. Love you. Bye.